As of right now, we currently have no visible DOM elements in our current document object model. Now what I could do is let's say add in a div element and style it with CSS. But what I want to do is add this div element in via JavaScript. I want it to be dynamically inserted into the page. So how do we do this? Well, I'm going to save this now and I'm going to take a look at my app.js file. I'm going to create a variable called element and it's going to be equal to document dot create element and you need to tell it what type of element you want to create so in this case it could be a div element it could be a video element it could be an audio element it could be any type of element that you can create within html so i'm going to create the div element and then what i'm going to do is i now need to attach it because if i save this now and hit refresh in the browser and I take a look at my console, if I take a look at my element, you'll notice it does print out the div syntax. And if you wanted to take a look at the object representation of it in JavaScript, this object resembles this element in the HTML. So at the moment, this element is not placed inside of the document object model. We have just created this object, but it's not been placed inside of the document. But as of right now, we can treat it like a regular DOM object. For example, I can target the object that's been created and I can take a look at its style. I can modify its CSS styles via CSS text and I can give it a few different things. So we've got the width as for example 200 pixels, then you've got the height which is going to be 200 pixels and then also you can have the background color and let's set that to blue. Then also we need to define where we want to add in. Then also you can define other things such as on click and then we're going to run a function and we'll get an alert dialog box that opens up and we'll say hello and once we've done this we then need to place it within the document. So we need to decide where we're going to place it. Well I want to place it within the body. I want to append it down here to the body so that we can actually see it being rendered in the browser. So what I want to do is I want to take a look at the myapp.js file and then I want to take a look at the document.body. This object right here, the body object, targets this body element here and we can append the child to it. So I can say dot append child. So we use the append child method and then you need to pass in what child object that you want to append to the body. So in this case, it's going to be element, which is this DOM object here. And I'm going to save that and hit refresh. In here, you have the div element that we created dynamically with the CSS text. And also we have an on click event. And when we click on it, we get an alert dialog box with the message. And if you take a look at this, all we did was we took it and we appended it to the document so that we can actually see it. It's actually placed within the DOM structure. You have the document object, which resembles the entire document. And then you have the window, which re represents the entire window that we currently reside in. And here it is. So it is now an object within our document object model. And again, you can take a look at the actual object itself. So all we did was we took an object and we placed it inside of an object and you'll find it in there. You can go down to dot body, for example, and take a look at it and it will be actually dynamically inserted into the document. Now let's very quickly just create a few elements just so that we can take a look at this. So we can have, let's say a div element and we're going to add some style to this. Now let's also change this element here as well to have a height of 20 pixels because I kind of want this all to fit in this little window here. So I'm going to take a look at the index again and I'm also going to add a ID onto it. So we've got the ID and that's going to be yellow yellow and then let's also have a green div element as well and what I'd like to do is just pop this in here we have the green element and that's going to have a background color of green so I'm going to go ahead and save this now and hit refresh so we've got our three div elements we've got the yellow one the green one which I have inserted manually and then we also have our appended one and you'll notice with the appended one it comes actually below the script tags so we have the script tags here and then appending is right at the bottom and what append child does is as the name suggests append child is it takes this object and it appends it as a child element so it takes the div element that we've created let's say out here and then it appends it into 
the body. But what happens when you want to place something specifically within the document? For example, insert before and insert after. So maybe I don't want to append it as a child element. Maybe what I want to do is actually place it specifically in between, let's say, these two div elements. How do I actually go about accomplishing this? Well, let's take a look at, first of all, targeting the ID of the element. So what I want to do is I want to take a look at just commenting this out. That's appending. So what I want to do now is I want to take a look at what element I want to target. I'd like to actually target this yellow element because when we do append child, it appends the div right at the bottom. Let's say I want the div to be right at the top. How do I do that? Well, I need to target the parent node or element. You can think of all these elements here as nodes. Nodes are just symbolic. It just means something small that makes up a larger structure, like leaves on a tree. Each leaf is a node, and those nodes are attached to the tree, and it's all a big node structure. It's got structure to it. And likewise, we've got this here. We've got the body element, then we've got the divs and so forth. So whenever you hear node, it's just like symbolic of a smaller system, like you can have lots of little computers that make up a larger server and a big server farm. And each one of those computers is a node, and then you have the overall structure. So what we have is these nodes here, for these DOM elements. And what I'd like to do is target this DOM element and then insert before. So what I want to do now is I want to take a look at the target. So I'm gonna say var target equals, and then I want to target the object in the document. So I'm gonna say document element by ID, and we want to get the element of yellow, which I'm targeting this div element here. Then what we need to do is target the parent node. I need to target this node, and then I need to say where I want to place my div element in this node. So let's take a look at that. I'm gonna say document.body, so I'm targeting the parent node, then I'm gonna say insert before, before, and then you need to first of all provide the element that you want to insert, which we know that we have created this object and we can point to it via its symbol name called element. And then once I've done that, I then need to say which element I want to insert my newly created element before. So I'm going to say target. So I'm gonna target that yellow div and I'm gonna insert my element before it. So it's gonna come right at the top of the body. Let's save this now and hit refresh and show Sure enough, it does. We targeted the parent node or element, then we targeted the yellow div element, and then what we said is take the blue div element. So by using append child and insert before, you are able to place this dynamically created element anywhere within your document.